Right, it's 10 minutes before 7 o'clock. Limpopo Arts and Culture Youth Forum, which is the provincial structure of South African Arts and Culture Youth Forum, will be hosting Mosina Cultural Heritage Festival on Saturday, the 1st of October. It is one of its kind and it includes many genres of music and the lineup has more than 48 best performers as well as DJs. The festival, which will be held in Mosina Showgrounds, is a way to promote culture and heritage for the people of the Limpopo province. We joined now in our studios in Johannesburg by the president of South African Arts and Culture Youth Forum, Romeo Ramwada, where we joined by one of the uh, performers and artists in Gola and Mazel as well, uh, who some of the performers who will be uh, performing at the festival. I mean, just before the ad break, we had the beautiful sounds from Gola. Gentlemen, Maturoni to Melang, welcome to Morning Live. <laughs> to Ella. To Ella. Uh, morning, morning to you too and the listener. Thank you so much. Uh, Romeo, let's start with you. Can you just brief us about the festival? It's mm. the first time and the first one of its kind. Yeah, uh, actually the, the Musina Cultural Research Festival is a festival that we initiated just because, uh, first of all, uh, we've realized as young people that uh, the youth of this country, they're actually losing their culture and heritage. And we realized that also in South Africa, main, main, most of the activities are happening in towns. So we decided to actually come up with a festival that will happen in Musina, which is more of your, of your like uh, area that is actually forgotten. But mostly the festival is about promoting our culture and heritage because uh, these days uh, we have noticed that uh, mostly the, um, the culture that is being promoted is the American culture and the European culture in our country. Because earlier I heard that you're going to also be talking to the chiefs and kings, but if you look uh, nice uh, properly in this country, uh, the chiefs and kings don't necessarily have the, the strength and power that they used to have because our lives are being controlled by courts and so on. So we're saying as young people, we need to actually promote our culture and heritage. And That's how will the festival go about promoting this culture and heritage? Yeah, the festival has got uh, different cultures, uh, music from different cultures of South Africa. You've got your Kilobe Du, you've got a guy called uh, King Munada, one of the guys from some rural areas in Limpopo who is doing very, very well. You've got your called Mkwe, who are legends. So because if you look at the legends in this country, they're struggling as artists. So we're seeing as the, as the forum that, that's why you see our lineups, not just normally popular faces. We're just taking artists who are good at their craft and we're saying we must, mix, we must have generational mix in festivals. We must have your legends, you must have young people, you must have those who are popular so that we're able to, sp to speak the same language and tell the South African story. So you've got your spirit of Zulus there, you've got your vendors there, you've got your tsongas, uh, you've got your pedis. So that, because we believe that as young people must be the ones who build the cultural uh, heritage of our country and social cohesion moving forward. All right, let me just bring Ngola into the discussion. Yeah, surely you're looking forward to Saturday, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. I'm, 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 I'm delighted. I'm so happy to, to be part of the event. Yeah. And apparently given an opportunity as well to ex express ourselves in songs, like, uh, because like, uh, we, are not, we are not being given an opportunity as young artists. And mm. then uh, we, are, we are told that we are unknown. So I believe uh, the unknown are going to be known this time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and, uh, and, and Huntland, though, when you are in gospel artist but you've just performed a, a house song. yeah I, i'm a gospel artist of course yeah but this guy decided to say like you know i like your voice i want you to be on my song and then of course because uh, i grew up listening to house music mm. r&b mm. soulful and stuff mm. then I, I said no i can do it and i did it mm. and uh, the song is massive and then people love it and then we're gonna perform it on that particular jack of all trades yeah huh? i'm mean, sure you're mastering everything trade. though <laughs> <laughs> all yeah, right muscle when um you you have have you ever been in this kind of festival before? Yes, I've performed at uh, Matsapa Foundation and uh, Mapungwe Festival. Mm -hmm. Yes. But what are your expectations for the Saturday? Well, I, obviously I'm going to rock the crowd. Mm. That I, I don't doubt. But, I have but, no doubts. Mm, you're going to mm. rock them? Yes. Okay. Any popular songs maybe that your crowd should look forward to? There's a song that's out, my new single is called uh, Cape Diem which is uh, currently playing at Metro FM. Mm, mm. I have another single called My Time. And there's a hit song that I have called That's a Bye. Yeah. So who glad to see this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Romy, let's just wrap up the discussion with you. Um, talk to us about perhaps the big names that are likely to perform. I know that during mm. the previous TNA business briefings mm. that we've had, you've always been so vocal about mm. the what we can call the unknown artist. Mm. Are we going to have any big names or are you looking yeah. at promoting these unknown ones? Oh, yeah. we, we have big names. I mean, if you look at uh, during the, the leadership of your, for example, for your CEO, uh, 
from the cloud to the Google people like Wolder Rokanya, who is the to be performing at the Sina Cultural Festival. You've got Yompumi, you've got Colbert, we've got, we've got Kakati, and, and so on. So, because we are saying uh, SEM people as well, we are very concerned when we find people like Cloud uh, Mutsunem being attacked by various people and members of the community because these are the same people who are saying to us SEM people, your culture and heritage is very, very important. That is why we are going to Musina with an energy to say that we must unite behind uh, the CEO of the SABC and actually the SABC because SABC is the only uh, uh, station that is giving us opportunity to speak about our culture and heritage. It's the only station that is playing 90% local content that is saying to South Africans we must be proud of who we are. We mustn't be having self-hate because today people are celebrating music of Americans. Our, our brothers and younger sisters, they are not they are being naked all, all, all the time, dressing small skirts because they are actually being exposed to music and culture that is not theirs. Yeah. So we're saying through the Musina Cultural Heritage Festival, we're bringing back the culture, the real South African culture. Because we're going to have a situation where we praise cultures that doesn't bring anything to our country. So mm -hmm. we're saying through this, we're going to be moving forward as young people. Uh, together as a collective to say as South Africans we must be proud of being South Africans 100% of the time not 10% or 30% yeah all right now that's where we're going to leave it gentlemen thank you so much for your time record Amanda and we're just saying also to young people they must support the forum because South African Arts and Culture Youth Forum is about uh, young people young people that's why you can see also here we didn't come with celebrities we came with young talent that is going to show South Africa yeah. that South Africa has got the best that can, we can produce. Okay, no, that's where you're going to leave it. <laughs> Talking to us here is Romeo Ramwada, uh, the president of South African Arts and Culture Youth Forum and some of the artists Ngola and Mazel that will be performing this coming weekend at the Mosina Cultural Heritage Festival this coming Saturday.